If you're a new or returning viewer, welcome to our channel. I'm Stephen, and that's my daughter Mia. We moved to the remote countryside on one of Japan's southern islands in March of 2023, but are currently visiting my wife's family in Nara Prefecture on the mainland. Whenever we're up this way, we always enjoy spending a few days at my wife's grandparents' house in the mountainous Yoshino area in southern Nara. We brought our new dog Rufi along on our travels this time. A change to his morning walk routine, as my father-in-law enjoys taking him out at 6 o'clock sharp each day. No change to my wife Yumi's morning routine, which always starts with a fresh cup of coffee. Especially here in Yoshino, where fresh well water fed from the surrounding mountains is on tap, which makes the coffee and other things taste even better. We are planning to eat nagashi somen soon, which literally means flowing noodles. This requires a desired length of cut bamboo tree, which luckily there's no shortage of around these parts. This patch of mountainside belongs to my wife's family, which contains an area of bamboo forest, as well as land which they use to farm various fruits and vegetables on. In the springtime, they can cut and dig out fresh takenoko bamboo shoots, which can be cooked with food in a variety of ways, creating tasty dishes. And now in the summer, fresh blueberries can be picked from the trees. Back to the task at hand, and while the ladies pick blueberries, my father-in-law and I cut down a length of bamboo tree. Next part of the process involves splitting it in half and removing the inner nodes. Luckily by a coincidence, my wife's uncle was there collecting some onions and happily completed the job for us when he heard we were planning to enjoy Nagashi Sawmen. No problem for this 80-year-old man, who's pretty much been in the forestry business his entire life. In fact, he made it look rather easy, which I'm sure wouldn't have been the case if I'd had a go. But I have my uses, and my morning workout involved carrying the now split bamboo tree about a kilometre back to the house, After a week or so back at the family home in Nara, we return to Yoshino. So let's do nagashi, flowing salmon noodles for lunch. Fresh herbs like shiso leaf or other things such as mioga, Japanese ginger, can be found around the property here. They'll do nicely as toppings for our nagashi somen. 
using whatever you have, in our case a ladder, my father-in-law sets up our prepared strip of bamboo at an incline from where the noodles will flow. It's a first for Mia and I, so we don't really know what's going on. But my father-in-law enjoys having some muscle around to instruct what to do, and I'm more than happy to help. The day started off cloudy, but the hot August sunshine soon made an appearance. The nice thing about fresh well water is it's a little colder than normal tap water and great to use with the Nagashi Sawman process. Then it's time to send the Sawman noodles down the slide. Catch them somewhere near the bottom with your chopsticks and eat. <laughs> it's been many, many years since my wife Yumi enjoyed Nagashi Sawmen but it was a regular summer's event during her childhood. This time she could really appreciate all the behind the scenes work which goes into preparing this fun lunch, just as her granddad did for her and her siblings and cousins all those years ago. After lunch and while Mia was enjoying some quality playtime with her aunt, we could relax and enjoy a cup of coffee outside. The pretty scenery and mountainside, right outside the house, always giving us something to chat about. A little extra footage here from our busy day trip to the big city of Osaka. No trains or anything like this where we live in the remote Japanese countryside. So you see, we do occasionally venture out. We went in to visit a friend and let Mia experience her first dose of millions of people and the hustle and bustle of big city life. Nice to experience for a day or two. We all pretty much passed out on the train ride back home. And it's back to the countryside for us. See you next time.